Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so it's what you're working on Wednesday. Today, I am working on, I have been working on my little blanket a lot. I'll show that to you um, in the next No Catch Your Name episode, which will be Friday, I think. <laughs> um, I've got a lot done on it, and before I show it to you Friday, I'll probably have some more done on it, so I'm pretty excited. I actually just finished putting the first whole pink ball in it, and now there's a scrap right here left of the first gray ball. And then I gotta open up the two new skeins to uh, put in there. Anyways, this today <laughs> I am working on hats. Uh, I was gifted some chunky yarn recently, and it was some new yarn to me. Um, one of them, or they're both, yeah, they're both Bloom, Premier Bloom Chunky. Um, one was called Cactus Flower, and one of them was called Baby's Breath. But uh, because I've never really done anything a lot with chunky yarn, and I only had one ball of each, I went ahead and made some hats. So that's what I'm working on today. I made this hat. <laughs> this is the one called Cactus Flower. And this one's the one called, whoops, that's the back. <laughs> uh, Baby's Breath. And there's still ends on that. I gotta weave them in. But then she also gifted me uh, two more skeins of chunky um, woolies, but I cannot use that. <laughs> I already knew I was allergic to alpaca. And then when I was getting ready to work with that yarn, I found out that I'm probably allergic to wool too. <laughs> Because I, I just, I hadn't even opened the yarn yet. I was just handling it and looking for a pattern and like squishing it, you know. And um, I started itching really bad <laughs> and I had to put it away. This, I don't know if this is, what is this? This is wool too. I don't know if this will bother me. I'm holding it. But this is another little, uh, this is a hank of Chunky that the same person gifted to me. And I was getting ready to unhank this and make a hat with it. But I don't know. I'm going to have to hold it for a few minutes. It's 100% super washed merino wool. But it doesn't bother me just holding it right now. Hold it for a few minutes to see what happens. <laughs> but um, these are just really easy hat patterns. Let me talk about them real fast. I can't remember the name of it, but it will be linked below. What was the name of it? I don't know. I made the first one and then I had it in my memory, so I just made the second one. But it's uh, double crochet down to like right here, and then you start V-stitches. But they're V-stitches without the chain in the middle. It's just basically two double crochet in one space. But then when you go back around, you work in between the two double crochet. So it's like a V-stitch, but without the chain. Super easy. And then down here, it's just like a single crochet border uh, brim. I think this one turned out really pretty. I like this one a lot. This one looks a little bit different because it's mostly white. <laughs> this yarn, all the color is up there and a little bit around there. But these are going to be donate hats. So I'm not worried about it. Someone will love it, I'm sure. I gotta weave in the ends and uh they both used up pretty much the whole um this is what's left of the cactus flower one and then there was a little bit more of the white one i must actually made this one a row too shorter <laughs> without noticing it oh i didn't make another one she gives me also a um what was this yarn called i don't forgot <laughs> wait is it here yeah a yarn be soft and sleek chunky i mean i forgot about this hat i didn't make this one today We'll talk about it. This is for me too because I love this color. It's the colorway mustard and I made a hat that's like a rippled one that has a fold up brim. My hair is wet because I took a shower but I've always wanted a hat that looked like this <laughs> with the fold up thing and then I had enough left over that I squeezed out a, uh, a headband. <laughs> this is almost too small. It's an ear warmer. I used up the very last of it to make this but it fits me good enough that I'll probably keep it for myself and this hat of course because I love this hat beautiful i've always wanted a hat that was chunky with the ribbing and that you fold up i don't know i never made one until now <laughs> just lazy and then i put the palm on there i use my biggest pom-pom maker and i stink at making pom-poms they usually fall apart but i just tied this on on the inside so that i can take it off because i'm probably just gonna get one of those fake fur ones to put on there for long-term use because uh that's probably gonna fall apart because i really Really, I'm bad at making balls. But anyways, that's what I'm working on Wednesday. <laughs> I'm working on hats. I haven't made hats in a while. I think since I made the um, the blue hats for um, Hat Not Hate way earlier this year in the summer, I think. So I've been making chunky hats because I never get chunky yarn and it was gifted to me. So I was like, every ball is a hat. <laughs> and uh, I love this actually. And this I didn't use a pattern. This I just did my own thing. I, um, was it half double crochets? I think it was double crochets. I just, I chained uh, 38 or 40, and then I half double crocheted in the back loop only a whole bunch until it fit around my head, and then it was like a panel, and then I 
slip stitched it together and then I just cinched up the top and threw a pom-pom on there and made a hat. <laughs> That's what I did. Made it super easy and simple and it's super bulky and I like it a lot. I'd love to have some more of this yarn in different colors to make different ones. So far this yarn's not bothering me. Maybe Superwash Merino doesn't but whatever Woolies is does because it seems it feels rougher too. This is softer than Woolies. Maybe I'll get that back out because I put it up when I started itching all bad. And I'll hold it again. Maybe it was just a random fluke. I don't know. We'll try it out. I was going to give the woolies away, but if I can use it, I'll use it. Because th this doesn't bother me at all. Is there a difference between super marsh merino and regular when if it just says wool? I mean, it's all sheep. I don't know. <laughs> this doesn't bother me, and this is beautiful. This is one of the Hobby Lobby Yarn Bee um, hand-dyed chunkies, is <laughs> what it says. It says it's a number five, and there's 110 yards. These balls right here had 109 yards in it, so I know I could get a hat out of it. Yeah, they had 109. This one was bigger. Where'd that ball band go? I'm trying to get used to saving my ball bands until I talk about them. It has 211. That's why I had enough to make the big bulky hat and the this thing. Ear warmer. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So this is the ear warmer. It's really small, but it, it works. It'll work. I prefer mine to be like way bulkier normally so I like to be toasty warm but I mean we I live in Tennessee it's not gonna get like freezing <laughs> maybe one or two days in March but I mean we should be good until March <laughs> we never get like super cold weather but uh, I like it and it's just one of those twisted ones again I didn't use pattern for this I just it's half it's the same thing as this <laughs> it's either half or double I can't remember what I did back and forth I did it enough to reached just barely around my head. I made it a little tight so because I knew it would stretch. And then, you know, I went back and forth and it was a long panel. And then it's kind of hard to explain how you do the twist, but you take the flat ends and you fold one over the other like that. <laughs> it's really, I'll have to show you one day with an actual piece. And then when you sew it together and turn it inside out, it makes the cute little twist looking knot thing. Really simple. It's just hard to explain with words. <laughs> I'll show it to you guys. Uh, I'll make another one someday and just show it to you on a video. But anyways, yeah, that's what I'm working on. This is how much I had left of the yellow. I probably could have um, added a little bit more to that, but I always hate plain yarn chicken. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's what I'm working on this Wednesday. <laughs> that was a long explanation. And it almost turned into an episode, me showing you all the hats I made. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here. So leave in the comments below what you guys are working on today and this week. Feel free to leave links and stuff in the comments. Because we all like checking out new patterns and stuff. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another What Would You Make With This Yarn. And Friday I will be putting out a No Kitchen Name episode. <laughs> and yeah, I'll be showing my blanket. It's looking really good. I love it. I'm going to go squeeze this yarn in some woolies and wait and see which one affects me. <laughs> and uh, maybe you'll see hats with them Friday also. I don't know. Bye guys.